you know, kind of give you support, but enough that you're, and see if we can get your body to do it itself. But um, when, when we're needing some nutrients, getting food-based ones. So there's a lot of um, nutraceuticals out there that you can actually, you know, get that it's from food and concentrated from food um, in, from berries. Hawthorne berry, I'll talk about later. That's more an advanced thing, but I know I brought it up in other Marfan's talks, and um, that is very specific for helping give what the heart and the arch need. Um, it doesn't taste as good as all your other berries. <laughs> so a daily taking of that is definitely medicine, but um, that's, that's what we're doing. We're trying to get some medicine on. All right. Hi, everybody. Oh, Thanks, Jessica, for joining. Hi, Morgan. I am so excited to have you join me today. Thanks for, um, you're the one that helped me figure out what this problem really was. Um, you have Marfans and your daughter does. You're six year old. So I have a seven year old boy with Marfans too. Um, feel for you. Uh, general body fatigues and aches, particularly uh, foot pain. Oh, I been dealing with that this week myself. Um, the foot, we definitely got a lot of connective tissue stuff and um, getting a massage and chiropractor on board there, extra magnesium, be a quick little hit for that. But you'll want to pay attention to our um, the next webinar next Wednesday. I'm going to talk a lot more about the endocrine system to help deal with the fatigue and pain. Um, we tax our hormone system there quite a bit and we make our own painkillers. So we've got to help build that up so we can um, try and stay off of the other. Um, but sorry to hear that. I always like two little extra supports to compression socks and such to help hold things in. Um, for getting and walking around. I'm having to use those more and more. Um, thanks for being here today. I hope you get some stuff out of here, as I know you will. You're, you're going to be learning a lot here, stuff that it took me, uh, my naturopathic medical school career to put all together. I mean, you guys, this is a 20 years in the making to put this. I got lost in being a primary care provider and forgot I went to med school to help us out so I, I just really uh, can't say how excited I am to, uh, to be doing my life's work here so you guys are all pretty special coming on here at my first uh, webinar and uh, support and getting this information out that I've been working on for a while see if we can help share it with our tribe and there's going to be share buttons, I believe, when you get your emails on this copy you guys will have, and you're more than welcome to share with your friends, have them join the next one, um, if you see who we're all able to, or just sign up, you'll get this all in your um, email box. All right, next thing is water. Water is huge. I know, you hear about us telling you guys this all the time, but... Are you drinking half your body weight in ounces every day? That is the amount, hopefully you can hear, that's the amount we should be taking. Um, so if you weigh 185 pounds, you should be getting in half of that in ounces. So that would be 180. 90 ounces of water a day. You're working out, you're out in the hot sun, you're going to want to um, increase that anywhere from a quarter to a third, depending upon how much you sweat. And if you are sweating a lot, you always need to make sure you've got a little electrolytes in there too. Water will not only help detox pain, cytokines we call them, but the, the pain hormones but it will also give this tissue and the hyaluronic acid, parts of this, the connective tissue matrix, more ability to move. And when we can move, it can get uh, blood in and out easier. We have more blood um, when we have more water. Uh, that can definitely help get to the brain better, uh, especially if you're dealing with low blood sugar. 
those electrolyte waters are a great idea to get you good healthy salts in with your water. Very basic, but I tell you what, how many of us, even myself, don't get enough water in. So here's water. Everybody has a chance, take a drink. Here's to water. Uh, Fiji's a good one because it helps detoxify things or anything that's been um, filtered through volcanic rock. A little bit extra special for us with Marfans. Um, our local one here, <clears throat> I should be drinking. Excuse me if that's... <clears throat> I have a little... Allergies in the valley of death here today. I need a little bit more vitamin C. I haven't got to that yet today. Um, silica gets picked up. Earth, Earth 2O is our, our native one that's really good. Going through that volcanic rock is going to pick up some extra trace minerals. This is what I find as well as the antioxidant levels that are deficient in us with Marfans, and it's what I've talked with the researchers on about what they're finding we're deficient in. Why they're not talking about it, I don't know. They don't have the nutrition drilled in their head through med school like I did, and um, and get excited about that stuff. I get excited about that. I'm like crazy mineral doctor. It has become one of my ultimate specialties. We'll have patients. Tell me, I have no idea about how important minerals were until I came in to see you. Macro minerals, constantly deficient in the soils, magnesium and zinc. I'm just over and over, we can't seem to get enough. Um, and zinc, you can actually kind of check in your blood. But I say, watch those labs within your blood. It's not always telling us what is in your cells and, and functionally working for you but it's nice to make sure that you've got more of that than copper. Those two um, use the same transporter, so we have to give you a little extra zinc in that front. front. But those are two of the big ones I see really deficient, uh, especially if you're having cramps, you'll need a lot more magnesium. Again, magnesium is similar to vitamin C where you have too much during the day, you're gonna have some irritable bowel kick up and have a little um, diarrhea. So, Epsom salt baths can be a nice way to have it drive right into your muscles. A good two cups, at least. It's quite a bit more, I think, than most people think about. Um, but the trace minerals are hugely essential. Oh, I don't find a lot of people are eating enough from the ocean. Uh, it's really one of the only places that these trace minerals are left. Everything's been over agri agriculturally, how we use the same soils every time, we're missing out on a lot of, I mean, got sucked up by the first few crops and it's not getting replaced. Unless something as cool as like Mount St. Helens explodes. I was just talking with this with friends the other day and how all that ash went back into the Willamette Valley and it was very healthy for us all to have that food back into the, all that back in our food get the soil uh, revived again. Not a lot of us are eating a lot from the oceans because that's just as contaminated these days. We've got to be very picky about where we're getting everything. <clears throat> so that's where something as simple as some cell salts might be nice. Oh, shoot. That was my, my yogurt I put my hand in. Okay. Silica, naturally in some of these waters, but not strong enough for me to really like. I like this Tigered local company <clears throat> quite a bit. They try and stay with the doctors only, but silica or silicia. <clears throat> clear my throat here for a second. can be used in a salt salt. And some of these little salt salts you just add to your water and about 20 of these little pellets, uh, boron, highlands, and then you can just um, be drinking it all day long. I like this because I can just grab a dropper full, squirt it in my kid's mouth while they're running by, and, um, <clears throat> and it's inexpensive. Um, a lot of my Marfan's patients they're, they're running out of funds. They're, 
getting hit left and right with major surgeries, major medications, um, can't work as often if they even can work. That's why I feel really grateful. All this stuff is working for me so well. I can have this extra energy and time to do these on the side of being a mom running an office and being primary care doctor for a thousand patients. <laughs> Minimize, we're, we're focusing and really not listed though, making me come back to um, my specialty so I can double down with you guys. <clears throat> And I, I'm doing the things. I'm doing a lot of things to be able to keep this going, of course. Um, but these are these are the nice, simple things. Um, you can repeat this easily three times a day. You could do it six times a day if you're having more pain um, pain days. But it is so helpful for connective tissue. Literally, we'll have women notice within weeks that their their skin is tightening up and the wrinkles are going away. Like awesome that's telling me it's working on elastin as well which is that recoil spring that we um are are lacking we're just too loose with with these loose connective tissue disorders <clears throat> really common and this taps back to uh women over after menopause because our estrogen can help hold us together so that's where um i'll be tying in hormones more and the importance of that for upholding our connective tissue. It definitely takes a holistic approach, which us natural paths are well trained in and um, it'd be able to hit on specific with pain and, and, and energy levels quite a bit more on, on next Wednesday's webinar. Heads up, I hear my children. <laughs> Grandpa locked them outside. Um, Banging on the windows. They sneak in. I'll show you my seven year old with Marfans. The cool thing is, it's kind of cool with Marfans when you go to like a conference and everything, we all look the same. We all look like we're family and tribe, just only reimburses like, hey, you're my people. And Donnie definitely looks like our people. Um, so, I wanted to share a cool case I have. Um, Big Ed, Big Ed's about, I think he's, he's 72 now. He is a big guy. He has a little bit more muscle than our average, like my, my brothers do, the average Marfan man who has a hard time putting muscle on um, and holding, holding any of that. Um, so it took him a little while. His MD re referred him to me um, knowing that I had Marfans and specialized in it. So he had already come into me as being a logger all his life. Good old boy doesn't, you know, eats what he wants to. His exercises, his work, and it, despite his, you know, seven out of ten pain level, he's gonna keep going. He had um, dilatation already going on, so his aorta was stretched. Um, so he, high blood, blood pressure, you know, back and forth, always trying to help manage that, which. It is nice when we bring on some of these naturopathic supports. You don't have to do as much as the medication side. But we're able to help see things like uh, I worked with, he had pain, fatigue, carrying around an oxygen tank. Could, his lungs were really affected. Everybody's a little different on what, what goes on for us. Um, a log from the truck came down and hit him in the head and he had a c1 c2 instability to the extreme where but he wouldn't do surgery they were like we're not quite sure with surgery i mean it's really that's an area if you don't have to you don't want to get that done so he, would he wear his neck brace every day no this is big ed he is not going to wear a brace every day so I'm like, oh my God, you're not just needing connective tissue support. You're needing like a surgery, a, a ligaments in there right now. You need a clamp holding your head on. So, but his focus, of course, was something totally different than my focus. But he wanted to be able to get out on his boat and go fishing again and not take the stupid oxygen tank and have his strength back. So, and working with his um, hormones, testosterone, very awesome for cardio protection. We'll talk more. And um, strength, obviously. Um, talk more in the next webinar. I 